You see, if you sit around waiting, hoping for the world to change, that's not very effective. So many people have this voice in their head that says, oh, I'm just one person, I can't change the world, I can't make a difference. This pessimistic attitude is why change isn't made. One person can create change if they really make an effort. Find something. Find some cause that you're passionate about and work towards it. Change will be made, I promise. Hello, my name is Christina Long and I'm a first year animal science major here at UC Davis. I found my cause four years ago near the end of my freshman year of high school. The founders of the Barca Foundation presented this issue that is the water crisis to me and I immediately realized that this is the cause I want to work towards. Here in the United States we are so fortunate. As New York Times columnist and activist Nicholas Kristof, who visited UC Davis earlier this year, would say, we have won the lottery of life. And these words have never been so true. According to the United Nations, water is a basic human right. In fact, over half of our body weight is composed of water. In the U.S., we are fortunate enough to have what seems like an unlimited access to clean, purified water. I bet most of you have a water bottle with you right now and have the resources to shower, cook, clean, and perform other water requiring duties daily. Through the majority of the time, water is no more than just a few steps away for us. The average American uses 80 to 100 gallons of water per day. Do you know how many gallons of water people in Burkina Faso get per day? Five. Five gallons of water per day per household. Most people here use more than twice that in a single shower, and five times that to clean clothes and dishes. Their water does not flow out of a sink faucet or a shower head, and it most certainly doesn't come to them all nice and packaged up in a shiny plastic bottle for $1.99 at Safeway. The women and children in Burkina Faso obtain their water for their households by walking 5k every day to obtain this five gallons of water. And not only is the water availability scarce, but they don't have Brita filters or other fancy forms of filtration to purify their water. The water they use for drinking, cleaning, and cooking is the same water that they might bathe in to cool off from the extreme heat, and it's definitely the same water that animals defecate and urinate in, making the water highly contaminated. These innocent people contract cholera from this water and then die of dysentery because they don't have the medical means for treatment. Now, don't you think they're just as deserving as we are here in the privileged United States to use and have convenient access to clean water? As the lucky winners of life's lottery, we should take this opportunity to help. To aid the victims of the water crisis, my sophomore year of high school, I founded the Peace, Water, and Wisdom Race. For three years, we worked to provide funding for Barca to be able to build wells and install hygiene and sanitation programs in Burkina Faso, West Africa. Since then, we have spread to four states, contributed funds to the drilling of two wells, and in our fourth year as an organization, incorporated as our own nonprofit, Initiative O. We are currently partnered with Barca and Peace Corps volunteers and are in the process of becoming 501c3. Our goals are to educate people about the water crisis and to provide water and promote hygiene and sanitation in the nations of West Africa. I have implemented a, a branch of the Initiative O organization at UC Davis to help work towards the organization's goals. This is how I chose to make my mark on this changing world, and I started it by myself, well, with a friend, and then educated people and raised money while doing so. I really hope that I've proved to you all that yes, one person can make a difference.